In the realm of relationships, confusion often stems from the misalignment between actions and words. Imagine the scene. Picture a man named John, a character filled with complexity. He's standing at a crossroads, grappling with uncertainty. His partner's inconsistent behavior, the stark contrast between what's said and what's done, is what strains their bond. It manifests as cracks in their relationship, causing a whirlwind of doubt, frustration, even fear. This simple misalignment spirals into a storm of uncertainty, threatening to upend their shared world. Trust, the cornerstone of any relationship, becomes the life raft in this tumultuous sea of uncertainty. Trust, which is built over time, becomes a beacon in this tempest, a lighthouse guiding John through the darkness. Without trust, without understanding, without communication, the relationship teeters on the edge. It is poised precariously on the brink of collapse. But let's not surrender to despair just yet. Fear not, for every storm, no matter how violent, will eventually pass. Clarity on the horizon, shimmering like the first rays of dawn. It is there awaiting John's reach, if only he would extend his hand. But how does one reach for clarity? How does one navigate this tumultuous sea? It begins with effective communication, a beacon slicing through the dense fog of confusion, a lighthouse illuminating the path towards understanding. But communication isn't a one-way street. It's not merely about expressing one's thoughts and feelings, but also understanding and absorbing what the other person has to say. It's a journey inward, a deep dive into self-reflection and introspection. It's about stripping away the layers of ego and pride, laying bare the vulnerabilities and insecurities. It's about discovering the courage to listen, to understand, to forgive, and most importantly, to change. Misalignment in relationships can be detrimental, a destructive force that can tear apart the very fabric of love and companionship. But remember, it's not insurmountable, it's not a death sentence, it's a challenge, yes, a mountain to climb, but every mountain can be conquered, every storm can be weathered. The quest for clarity is a voyage, a journey across choppy seas and through dark nights. But every voyage, every journey begins with a single step, so face the storm, take that step. Seek understanding, nurture communication, and above all, trust in the process. Remember, it's not the confusion that defines you, but your pursuit of clarity. As we navigate the perplexing labyrinth of life, it's crucial to remember that every single step, every momentary pause, and indeed every setback we encounter, is but a placeholder for progress. Now I want you to consider John. He's somewhat similar to you and me, progressing through the complex journey we call life. Each day he's a step further along his voyage. He may not have reached his final destination, that's for certain. The thick, suffocating fog of confusion and uncertainty still looms heavily over him, obscuring his path. Despite this, he continues moving, he keeps learning, he persists through the doubt and confusion with an unwavering determination. The placeholders in John's journey are not seen by him as insurmountable obstacles or blockades barring his way but rather as stepping stones. They serve as individual opportunities for him to learn something new, to grow as a person, and to adapt to his ever-changing circumstances. These placeholders, these pauses, they're not hindrances. Instead, they're the true essence of his journey, crucial pit stops that provide him with much needed respite and reflection. Remember, the journey towards alignment, towards reaching our true potential, is not a sprint. It's not a short, quick race to the end. No, it's more akin to a marathon, a long, demanding journey that requires stamina, determination, and resilience. It requires us to pace ourselves, to stay patient, to maintain our resolve through trials and tribulations. It's not about reaching the finish line in the quickest time possible, but rather about understanding and appreciating the journey itself, understanding that these placeholders, these pit stops, are not permanent blocks on our path, but temporary pauses is essential. They are necessary for growth, for development. They provide us with opportunities to rest, to reflect, to learn, and to grow. They enable us to gain a deeper understanding of ourselves, our motivations, our strengths, and our weaknesses. They allow us to chart our progress, to celebrate our victories, however small they may be, and to learn from our mistakes. So, let's embrace these placeholders, these pauses, these opportunities to grow. Let's learn from them, let's grow with them. Let's use them as stepping stones to propel us forward, to help us progress on our journey. Let's not be disheartened by the hurdles, the setbacks, or the pauses. Instead, let's appreciate them for what they truly are. 
invaluable opportunities for personal growth and self-discovery. Continue your journey towards alignment, one step, one placeholder at a time. Just like John, let's remember to keep moving, to keep learning, and to stay resilient in the face of adversity. This journey, after all, is not about the destination, but about the journey itself and the growth we experience along the way. As John continues on his path, he comes to a halt, an abrupt stop in his tracks. It's an unexpected placeholder, a sudden pause, a moment to rest, to catch his breath. He stands there in the middle of his path, positioned at the precipice of understanding, teetering on the brink of clarity. The fog, once a thick curtain of uncertainty, isn't quite as dense as before. The landscape is clearer, the path forward, not as intimidating or daunting as it once appeared. His journey, quest isn't over, not by a long shot, but it's time to take a breather. Time to sit down and rest, to reflect on everything that has happened so far, everything he's experienced. It's a time to learn, to absorb the wisdom of the experiences he's had, the people he's met. He looks back, his gaze trailing the path he's trodden, the uneven stones he's boldly stepped on, the hard lessons he's learned along the way. This pause, this placeholder, it's more than a mere breather. It's a moment of contemplation, an opportunity to contemplate, to look inwards, a moment to absorb, to assimilate, to understand. It's a moment to look back on the progress he's made, to appreciate the journey he's embarked on, to acknowledge the battles fought and won, the obstacles faced and overcome. So he stands there embracing this pause, this he absorbs the silence, the tranquility of the pause, and he realizes something profound. This isn't just a pause, it's a crucial part of the journey, a necessary pause, a much needed moment of reflection. He becomes aware that the pause is not just a point of rest, but a point of growth. It's a moment of introspection, of self-awareness. It's a moment to look at the panoramic view of his life, the highs and lows, the successes and failures. It's a moment to recognize his own strength, to realize how far he's come. The pause serves as a bookmark, a reminder of his journey, a testament to his resilience. It's a realization that every step he's taken has brought him closer to his goal. He understands that this pause isn't a pit stop, but a milestone, an integral part of the journey that is necessary for progress, for growth. So as you journey towards alignment, don't forget to embrace these pauses, these placeholders, because sometimes it's these moments of pause that we find the clarity we've been seeking the answers we've been yearning for. It's during these quiet intervals that we find the strength to continue, the courage to face the unknown. It's in these moments of pause that we find the clarity we've been seeking. As John resumes his trek, he carries with him the wisdom from his recent hiatus. His stride is filled with a newfound strength, a vigor rejuvenated by the pause, steered by a deeper enlightenment of his path. We find him stepping into the future, emboldened by the wisdom he's gained. An unforeseen twist appears, but wait, what is this? It's a placeholder, not a pause this time, but a placeholder, a placeholder, an unoccupied space waiting to be filled, a canvas yet to be painted on, a scene that is yet to materialize. It's a spot in the journey, not marked by a pause, but by a potential, a possibility. The placeholder is like an unsolved riddle, a map with no marked destination. It's the space between the known and the unknown, a gap in the narrative, a scene that's yet to transpire. The journey takes an unexpected detour here, an unforeseen challenge, a new opportunity crops up. But John isn't flustered, he isn't shaken, he's steeled himself for this, he's primed. Throughout his journey, he has harvested wisdom, he has grown in resilience. He comprehends that this placeholder, much like the pause, is an integral segment of his voyage, a crucial part of his narrative. It's a scene that is not yet written, but meant for him to create. It's a story yet to be narrated, but meant for him to articulate. It's a situation yet to be defined, but meant for him to shape. It's a challenge that's yet to be conquered, but meant for him to surpass. It's an opportunity for him mold his own path, to etch his own story. So he steps into the placeholder, ready to face the unknown, ready to take on whatever comes his way. In life, just like each one of us stumbles upon placeholders, these placeholders are akin to scenes in a grand play where the roles, the dialogues, the climax, 
are yet to be scripted. These are the empty pages on which we can write our own narratives, the blank canvases where we can paint our own pictures. And it's in these moments, these placeholders, that we are given the opportunity to create, to shape, to define our chosen paths. So seize these placeholders, take hold of these opportunities, embrace the uncharted territories, the undefined roles. Because often it's these undefined, unexpected moments that shape the course of our journey, that help us evolve, that define who we are. In these moments, we find ourselves transitioning from the person we are to the person we aspire to be. So embrace these placeholders, these opportunities. Because sometimes it's these yet to be defined moments that shape our journey, that shape us. As we continue our journey with John, we find him standing amidst the undefined, the unknown, the yet to be scripted. In this fascinating, sometimes even intimidating space, John finds himself in a position that is filled with endless possibilities, in a place filled with the potential to be anything he wants it to be. A space that is yet to be defined, yet to be filled with his ideas, his experiences, his dreams, and his aspirations. A daunting task, undoubtedly, an overwhelming challenge, to say the least. The enormity of it could make anyone stutter, anyone falter. But John, the protagonist of our story, is not just anyone. He carries with him all the wisdom he has gained from his journey so far, all the lessons he has learned, the strengths he has developed, the courage he has fostered. He stands at the precipice, ready to embrace this challenge, ready to dive into the undefined, into the unknown. He looks at this blank space, this placeholder, not with fear, but with anticipation. He knows that this is his golden opportunity, his chance to shape the narrative, to define his own path. He takes a deep breath, his gaze sweeping across the vast emptiness, and starts to visualize. He sees not an empty space, but a canvas waiting to be painted with his unique colors, his unique voice. He sees not a challenge to be overcome, but an opportunity to be seized. And so he picks up the metaphorical brush and starts painting, starts scripting, starts shaping his own narrative, each stroke, each word, each decision comes from a place of deep introspection, a place of understanding, a place of authenticity. He takes control, he takes charge. He doesn't wait for the placeholder to define him. He defines the placeholder. He doesn't sit back and wait for the scene to unfold. He unfolds the scene himself. He doesn't let the undefined dictate his story. He dictates the undefined. And as he does, he realizes something profound. He realizes that it's not just about filling up the placeholder, it's about creating something meaningful, something deep, something that resonates with his own unique journey, with his own unique purpose. The placeholder, previously seen as a hurdle, transforms into a stepping stone, a gateway to growth, a portal to self-discovery. It becomes a part of his journey, an essential component of his growth. It becomes not just a vacant space, but a mirror reflecting his own potential. And just like John, you too have the power, the potential to shape your own narrative, to define your own path. When you encounter a placeholder in your life, don't shy away, don't let it intimidate you. Instead, step into it, embrace it, and use it as a tool to create your own unique story. In the end, it's these undefined moments, these placeholders, that give us the chance to truly shape our journey, to truly shape ourselves. Because in the end, it's these undefined moments, these placeholders, that give us the opportunity to really shape our journey, to really shape ourselves. In this chapter of our narrative, we delve deeper into the beauty and power of the placeholder. Our protagonist, John, stands tall amidst the undefined. His spirit is unyielding, his resolve unbroken. He is poised on the brink of the unknown, ready to shape the narrative, ready to define his own path. As he embarks on this journey, John picks up the metaphorical brush and starts painting his journey with bold strokes and vivid colors. He begins to realize the true potential of the placeholder. It's not merely a void, but also an open canvas. It's a call to him to create, to experiment, to define. The placeholder is not just a space, it's a stage, a stage on which he can perform, where he can express his deepest emotions, where he can be his authentic self. To John, the placeholder is not a problem to be solved, but an opportunity to be seized with both hands. He sees it not as a challenge, but as a chance to grow, to evolve, to become more than he ever thought possible. For him, the placeholder is not a hurdle, but a stepping stone towards his destination. 
Embracing the placeholder, John starts to see the beauty of the undefined. He starts to appreciate the freedom that comes with it, the flexibility that it offers, the endless possibilities that it holds. He starts to understand that the placeholder is not a roadblock, but a catalyst for change, a catalyst for growth. John continues with his journey, embracing each placeholder, each undefined moment, each opportunity to shape his narrative. He does this not because he is obligated to, but because he is driven by a deep-seated desire to, because he knows that each placeholder is a chance to create something meaningful, something that resonates with his journey, something that aligns with his purpose. And just like John, you too have the power to shape your own narrative, to define your own path. So when you encounter a placeholder in your life, do not shy away, step into it, embrace it and use it to carve your own story. Because in the end, it's these undefined moments, these placeholders that present us with the opportunity to truly shape our journey, to become the best version of ourselves. Because in the end, it's these undefined moments, these placeholders that give us the opportunity to truly shape our journey, to truly shape ourselves. In this next chapter, we turn the page and enter the uncharted terrain. Our protagonist, John, stands at the precipice of an undefined space, a placeholder hinting at unfulfilled potential. However, this isn't a pause or an abyss. This is an opportunity, a challenge, a white canvas ripe for our strokes. Much like in John's journey, this placeholder scene embodies the potency of the undefined, the unformed. Every placeholder on this journey offers an opportunity to ponder, to strategize, to prepare for what's to come. It provides us an occasion to chart our narrative's course, to decide on our path's progression. Similar to John, we too possess the freedom to morph this placeholder, to carve its edges, to splash color onto its canvas. Equally, we hold the power to transfigure this undefined space into something purposeful, something that reverberates with our unfolding narrative. As we stand in front of this placeholder, let's envision it not as an obstacle, but as a catalyst for creativity. Perceive it not as a challenge, but as a chance to grow, to evolve, to become more. Instead of viewing it as a hurdle, let it be a stepping stone towards our desired destination. As we ready ourselves to fill this placeholder, let's remind ourselves of John's journey, his determination, his spirit. Let's how he approached each placeholder, each undefined moment, and each opportunity to sculpt his narrative. Remember how John transformed the undefined into the defined, the unknown into the known, and the placeholder into an artistic masterpiece. And for now, we'll leave this placeholder scene with an assurance to return, to update, and to continue our narrative. John's journey serves as a reminder that we too are on a voyage. It's not just a journey of exploration, but a journey of discovery and creation. And in this journey, every placeholder is a chance to create something new, something distinctive, something that truly mirrors our narrative. The placeholders don't hinder our journey. Instead, they serve as markers of opportunities to shape our narrative, to shape our journey, and to shape ourselves. So stay tuned as we continue to shape our journey, as we continue to shape our narrative, as we continue to shape ourselves. As we navigate through the uncharted terrain, we find ourselves at a fascinating intersection. This moment serves as a scene, yet it's more than a mere pause or a void in our journey. It presents a golden opportunity, a vast expanse for us to populate with our individual narratives, our unique creativity and our personal experiences. This placeholder scene provides us with unbounded liberty to chart our course, just like our character John. The boundaries of this scene are yet to be determined, providing us with an untouched canvas, beckoning us to carve our way ahead with strokes of our imagination. It's a challenge we welcome wholeheartedly, recognizing that it's within these undefined spaces we expand, transform, and enhance. This placeholder provides an avenue for us to shape our storyline, to direct our voyage, to mold our fate. So let's alter our perspective of this placeholder. Let's not perceive it as an impediment, but rather see it as a driving force for creative expression. Let's choose to see it not as a hurdle, but as a stone that will propel us towards our goal. In the midst of preparing to fill this placeholder, let's take a moment to recollect Journey, his unwavering determination, his invincible spirit, his relentless quest for growth. Let's remember how he ventured into the uncharted, shaping the shapeless, illuminating the dark corners of uncertainty, transforming the placeholder into a masterpiece. Let's ponder upon the narrative we're weaving, much like the one John embarked upon. 
Let's use this placeholder as an opportunity to break free from our shackles, to spread our wings and to soar into the realm of infinite possibilities. This placeholder scene is not a pit stop, but a launch pad, a springboard to a brighter future, a future that we get to shape and sculpt to our liking. Yet we're just beginning. As we take our leave from this placeholder scene, we make a pact to revisit, to rework, to carry on with our exploration. John, we too are partaking in an expedition, a quest of probing, uncovering, and inventing. And during this expedition, each placeholder is an opening to give birth to something fresh, something rare, something that echoes our narrative authentically. So stay tuned as we continue to shape our journey, our narrative, and ourselves.